TIFU by flashing a construction worker because of my dog. I'm a 23F. And I'm currently living at my parents' place to finish my master's degree. I have an undergraduate master's in interpreting and translating. And decided to apply for a more specific degree in audiovisual translation. Which is basically subtitling, dubbing, etc. Because my school is based in another country. All of my classes are online. Which means that I stay home all day. Now, for a bit of context. Two years ago, when I turned 21, my family got me the best gift possible. And got me my very own dog. Because of an accident that has happened when my big brother was little. My parents had sworn off dogs completely. Which is understandable. But as I grew older, I really wanted to have my own pet. And a dog seemed to be the best fit for me. I was planning on waiting to get financially independent to get one. But with a lot of pushing from my sister, my parents caved in and got me a puppy, trusting that I was responsible enough to take care of him on my own. And that's how, in summer of 2020, I got my dog, Mushu. He is a black and brown Australian shepherd, and he's an absolute sweetheart. He's my baby, and I love him so much, he got me through some really tough times. And he's like a big teddy bear. But, as some of you probably already know, shepherd dogs tend to have a lot of energy, are very smart, and very stubborn. Mushu is no exception and, as much as I love him, he's put me in uncomfortable situations many times, like the day I had to chase after him in the street in my ladybug onesie. Or the time he peed on a stranger at the beach. The gist of it is. Mushu loves to run around and be outside. So we let him out in the garden quite often. This morning. I was home alone my parents being at work finishing up some assignments in the living room when. Mushu decided he wanted to get out. He'll basically paw at the door. Whine. And look at me with the biggest puppy dog eyes you've ever seen until I let him out. The living room has two glass doors that lead to outside, where we have a good view of the majority of the garden. So I could keep working on my computer and still keep an eye on him. He stayed there for a good hour, napping in the wind, and sniffing around the bushes as he usually does. Eventually, I finished my assignment, and got up from my chair to get some tea. I cleared the table, put my stuff away, and started brewing some tea, and then walked to the glass door to check up on Mushu. He was gone. At first, I didn't really panic, because, as I've said earlier, you can't see the entire garden from the living room. So I got up, grabbed a squeaky toy, and went outside to call for my dog. Our house used to be a stable back in like, the 16th century. So there's a narrow path behind our house that goes down to a stream that delimitates our backyard. Mushu likes to drink there. So I thought that's where I'd find him. But no luck. I kept calling him, thinking that he may have ventured a bit into the bushes or something. But I couldn't find him. I had just taken my eyes away from him for less than 10 minutes. After seeing that he wasn't coming back, I started worrying that maybe he'd escaped. Our garden is pretty well gated off, separated from the street by a two meter tall stone wall, or about seven feet. Our neighbors, however, don't, and they'd been working on fixing their fence. My guess was that Mushu had gone up the stream to get access to their backyard, and then left through the gap in their fence. Obviously, I started freaking out, and set out to find my dog. I was still in my pajamas, with just a tank top and some shorts. So I ran up to my room to put change into something warmer since it was freezing outside. I marched to my closet and pulled out the first clothes that I found. Before throwing my shirt off to put some sleeves on. One thing that I forgot to mention though, is that my room is situated at the front of the house. So it gives onto the street which I didn't really pay attention to in my panic, but I basically stripped and changed right in front of my window. 
while construction work was being done on the building on the other side of the street. And the worst thing about it is, after I finished putting my pants on, I stand up to find some dude just staring at me from his spot. Squatting on the ground to repair some electronic door, I could see on his face that he just had a front row seat to me showing off my boobs. And he was completely frozen. We uncomfortably stared at each other for a few seconds before I ducked out of view and rushed downstairs to go get my dog. I got the car running and grabbed a leash and went to open the front gate manually. I took one look down the road and immediately found Mushu just trotting about. Looking the happiest he's even been. He starts making his way over casually. Like he didn't just give me a heart attack by pulling a Houdini on me. People tend to drive really fast in my street. Since all the gardens are gated off. So I checked both sides to see if there weren't any cars coming. And I turn around to find the same construction worker just standing there. Alerted by the way I just screamed Mushu in the middle of the street. He just stares at me awkwardly. And I'm so stressed I do the most horrible thing possible. And give him some sort of weird uncomfortable smile that lasts several seconds. I'm eventually saved by Mushu running back in the garden. Close the gate and rush back inside. That little devil proceeded to just nap again for a few hours while I was dying of embarrassment in the living room. TLDR. In my panic to get changed to chase after my dog, I started stripping right in front of the window and flashed a construction worker on the other side of the street, who then stared at me blankly through the window and when I opened the gate. Think of it as a show and tell moment. We used to have those in elementary school. First you showed, then you came to Reddit to tell. Mission accomplished. Nice work. I'm just disappointed that there are no dog pictures accompanying the post. You made someone happy. Australian here. Just letting you know that most Australians don't consider these guys to be great pets. Not because they don't have a lovely personality or a good temperament but because they are bred to work all day, covering long distances rounding up and herding sheep. A good dog is able to do the work of two or three people. What this means is it's like they have ADHD on steroids. Think about they are bred to run for up to eight hours a day. They are also extremely clever. And a bit too courageous for their own good. Your gorgeous boy needs a lot of exercise. He will also do well with toys that are like dog puzzles. Things he has to work at to get food etc. If they don't get that sort of thing they can be naughty but it's kind of not their fault. That he is Houdini doesn't surprise me. On the plus side there's a fair chance he would be really good at those dog trials where they have. Jump over things and run through tunnels etc. Anything that makes them think or be active is good. They are lovely animals though and do well in large noisy families. And they are as loving and loyal as any breed of dog. Have fun with him it sounds like you love him. Any chance it was dinner time? Dinner and a show. Thanks for the momeries. A comedy about a couple of boobs who expose themselves while keeping abreast of the times. Couldn't resist. Ah. I can say that I once was a show myself by accident. Ambera dollar dollar ing. I lived. Mortified. Then I remembered we all have a body and I moved on. Wishing you a quick recovery and the best of it all. Ah. Agape two hearts two hearts. I bet that construction worker would like to work with his tool there more often. I love seeing that his name is Mushu, as one of my cats is named Mushu as well smiling face. What a creep just staring at her hasn't he ever seen some boobs before. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.